to new friends and new beginnings. It's Investing with Charles Schwab. Support for this show comes from Charles Schwab. Schwab can help you achieve better financial outcomes, saving for your future, putting your kids through college, being prepared for your retirement years. Schwab has the resources and solutions that can help you. You can learn more at schwab.com. Support for this episode also comes from USAA. Since 1922, USAA has provided award-winning insurance, banking, and investment and retirement solution support to military members and their family. They offer a complete suite of exclusive products, services, tools, and advice to their members. Learn more and join today at USAA.com. Hey, welcome to the Military Money Show, where I help the military community make, save, and invest money wisely. I'm your host, Lacey Langford, the military money expert. For many of us, going from USAA to Charles Schwab is new territory. We don't know what to expect. Will we like it? Will they understand me? Will they help me? Schwab is here to answer all those questions, plus a lot more. Danielle Munoz is the Vice President of Wealth Management at Charles Schwab. Danielle leads the virtual branch network at Charles Schwab that serves USAA members who've recently transitioned to Schwab for wealth management services. And most importantly, she's a fellow Army brat. We're also joined in this show by Mary Stork, who was in part one of the Changing Landscape of USAA Investments series in episode 103. Mary serves as a GM of Strategic Investment Relationships, overseeing the Charles Schwab and Victory Capital referral agreements and the day-to-day relationship management of each of those firms. Danielle shares in this show what it looks like from the other side of the transition for USAA members becoming Schwab customers. We talk about what Charles Schwab is like and their core values. We also discuss the preparations Schwab has made to welcome us all to include the tools and resources they have to help the military community with their investment needs. Here it is, my chat with Danielle from Charles Schwab. Hey, Danielle, welcome to the show. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. And we've also got Mary here. So this is going to be a great show. I'm so excited. Last week, talking to Mary was awesome. And now having you, Danielle, come on to really have an understanding of everything that's changed for the better and get to the bottom of everything. So everybody's excited to dive right into this. I'm going to start off with something really basic because I'm sure everybody else is like me. When I first got word about Charles Schwab coming into the picture, I wanted to know what Charles Schwab is about, you know, the company, because I had never dealt with Charles Schwab before. So can you tell everybody listening what their core values are? Definitely. So one of the things that I admire about Schwab is we always put the client first. And I love that our North Star is all about the client and that everything we do, all of our actions, our guiding principle is we put the client at the forefront. And we believe that when we do that, we gain trust, that they'll eventually refer their family and friends. And that's actually one of the reasons that I feel that the USAA and Schwab partnership is so powerful because we share those values. And I know that you know coming from USAA and USAA putting the member first, or Schwab putting the client first, it's just so powerful. One of the other things that I think is really important too is that, you know, when Chuck founded Charles Schwab, one of his guiding principles were all about accessibility and making sure that the services that we provide, the tools, the capabilities were accessible to more of our investors. And that's what we are doing today. And so it's really been incredible being over here. I am really liking the partnership that we have with USAA. I personally think it's just so important when I think about why clients and members trust USAA and Schwab, it's all about the honesty, integrity, loyalty, and service. And we both share those values. So I'm so excited about the partnership and I know that it will be very successful. Obviously, I did a lot of research on Charles Schwab for our relationship and also for my money because I do now have investments at Charles Schwab. And somebody said this to me, the actually, I think last week, and I thought it was a really good description. Charles Schwab is a marquee name. It's definitely a known entity and known for helping their customers, their members, and with investments. And 
it's like they've been around a while. And I don't think a lot of people in the military community maybe knew that, that Charles Schwab, they're not new to the game, right? That's right. Well, I was curious, the military has a unique lifestyle. We have some of the similarities to our civilian counterparts, but there are a lot of things that are special. And we do think that sometimes that we are special. So is Charles Schwab ready for us? to help us with our investments, given the lifestyle that we lead, the constant transition, the deployments, just different career paths. That's a whole nother ballgame, combat arms. Like most most probably of your other customers don't have combat arms, career fields <laughs> for the people that you're helping with investments. So I want to know, are you ready for us? Can you help us with investments? Are you ready for our unique lifestyle and what makes us special? Yeah. So to answer the first question, are you ready for us? Absolutely, we are ready we do understand that the military community is very unique. And, you know, just thinking about myself and growing up, you know, around the military community with being a military brat, my dad served in the army for 24 years, having worked at USAA and being able to serve those members. And I think there are different uniqueness that comes with the military. And, you know, there's that stage of starting out in the military, then it's kind of working that career during the military. And then at some point, there's that separation and transition out of the military. And along the way, right, there could be deployments, could be PCSs. And so we understand that those are different and that those can be concerning. So we are definitely ready to serve those unique challenges. We do have internal groups that are geared for military veterans and allies that we seek insights from. And that's our military veterans network. And they provide veterans, military, their families and allies just with information and networking opportunities. So that's a great source for us to get insights from. The other thing that we've done recently to gain some insights is we just launched a survey that was about 640 active reservists and retired military individuals and asked them a lot of questions about financial literacy. And just something that really stood out was that 43% of our active duty wish they learn more about personal finance. And it's even greater for our veterans at 57%. So when I think about they wish they learned more. We have the tools, we have the capabilities, we have the knowledge centers to be able to serve them. And so I think that is such a great opportunity for us to capitalize and really help our military members. I love that you brought up veterans because that is something I feel like a lot of people don't prepare properly for getting out of the military and they have a lot of financial ramifications because of it. So I think it's great that Charles Schwab is tracking that already, that this group is is different from active duty, you know, in veterans versus some people that have retired, some people that have separated. So it's this, it's this interesting dynamic within the military dynamic. So I want to ask though, Mary, as a fellow army brat, I, I love that you're both army brats. I'm an army brat. So I feel like this was staged, but just everybody <laughs> listening, it was not planned that it would just be only army brats on the call. So. <laughs> What do you think about all this? Is Charles Schwab ready for us? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Charles Schwab is ready for the military community. Uh, We have worked closely with them to help with a lot of the things that Danielle has talked about as well, and really trying to to make sure that our members are welcomed over there and that they do have that connection with the military community. I will add a little plug in uh, USA.com forward slash advice has advice specific for military life events. We know that, and I'm married to an Army veteran, a separated Army veteran, we know that those specific events that military communities and military members and their families go through involve a lot of decisions regarding financials, even more so than just investments, but a lot of different decisions that have to be made. When my husband separated from the Army, I remember all the decisions that we had to make and how stressful that time was for us as a family. And so at at our advice hub on USA.com, we have resources for life events that are very specific to the military. What should you do when you join the military? What happens when you deploy and what things do you need to think about when you PCS and of course, when you get out of the military? So absolutely, there's a lot of resources out there. And I know in many of our our conversations with members, they are using them and they are um, finding value in them. So hopefully others will as well. I like to hear that because... 
a lot of times the person doesn't know. I have a, you know, a financial background, so some things I'm tracking, but when you're in the heat of something that is very emotional, let's say a PCS or you just had a baby or you're going to go through a divorce and you have no financial background, you have no idea what the heck you should be tracking, like that I need to update these things. And and when you call USA, you call Charles Schwab and that they are tracking, okay, hey, we need to know X, Y, Z so we can make sure your investments are right if you're going through all of these things. So I like that. Absolutely. And we even have simple tools like checklists. I don't know about you, Lacey, but when I'm stressed and I need to make sure I'm not forgetting something, I make a list of things I need to do. And we have checklists for all of those different events just to kind of help find what's applicable to you and kind of scratch them off as you go. I like it. I want to ask you, Danielle, what guidance or help is out there for new USAA members to Charles Schwab to help them get adjusted and welcome to the company? Because I think, you know, Mary and I talked about this, like my generation might be more tech savvy, but, you know, people that were USAA members now going over Charles Schwab in my dad's age group, they're like, oh, this is just a whole upheaval. So how, how can you help somebody maybe like my dad or, you know, some retirees, veterans, everyone coming get adjusted? Yeah, that's such a good point because, you know, everybody doesn't want to be served in the same way. And here at Schwab, just because you have unique needs doesn't mean we have this one size fits all approach. It really is how do you want to be served and in what way do you want to be served? So If you are someone that likes to do it yourself, well, we have those capabilities where you can go on schwab.com or you can go on our mobile app so that you can get familiar with what Schwab has to offer. Like you mentioned, your dad maybe wants more interactive and more conversational personalization. So we also have those individuals that help and that can take advantage of the 24-7 service that Schwab offers. We have financial consultants that can either meet you in a face-to-face environment or can meet you over the phone. So definitely have many ways to interact and they're definitely want to be able to serve you in the way you want to be served. I like it. This is kind of in line with something we've already discussed, but more of the customer service reps, the advisors, when people are calling in, are they talking to somebody that knows about the military community? Because if you think like about, you know, maybe somebody with PTSD, that maybe is being a little crazy with their money because that happens sometimes or um, somebody that hasn't touched their stuff in a year because they've been deployed. Do they know about some of these things? Yes. And what I would tell you about that is, you know, the vast majority of my team came over from USAA. We do also have customer service reps that came over and they have a deep passion for serving the military. They have the knowledge, they have the acumen. So we have that experience here. What we've done internally to get our employees up to speed in terms of understanding the military is we've launched a military awareness training that's available. And that's really all about helping our employees understand the military values, understanding their unique lifestyle, some of those military benefits that are very different from other clients. And so we have that training available and then we have the expertise that was brought over from USAA. And I think those two together, we definitely have the knowledge and the skills to be able to help our military clients that are going through many different things or that are going through challenges with their money and those types of things. I think that's good for people to hear because that can be a problem with government employees, people discounting them like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about because they're a government employee. And people could possibly do that to Charles Schwab, but knowing that, hey, this isn't their first rodeo. They were at USAA. They know what they're talking about when they're calling. So it's they won't be able to discount it to say, hey, these people don't have never been experienced the military the way that they're thinking they should. So I think that's good for people to realize when they're calling, like this isn't, they're not starting from scratch. Yeah. And Lacey, if I could chime in as well, I mean, this was something that we talked a lot about as we selected Charles Schwab to be this provider of choice for our military members. Danielle is underplaying her role in this as well, because one of the things that was really important to us at USAA in terms of bringing that culture of serving the military and that military knowledge to Charles Schwab was that not only did we bring over the reps, the representatives and advisors and wealth managers that would directly serve members, but it was really important that we brought over leaders 
leaders that had brought the USA knowledge, the USA training, and the USA experience with them. And Danielle is one of those with decades of experience at USAA prior to coming over to Charles Schwab, as well as other leaders on her team as well. So when you bring those leaders, you continue to plant that seed that continues to grow and expand within that relationship. Yes. Also to Army Brat, that's some serious street cred. I think you should lead with that in your bio, Danielle. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. All right. My next question is, what resources or tools do you have to help deployed service members or service members and their families that are on the move during those PCSs? Because that, that's, I think, really important, this, this transition all the time. And a lot of stuff can get lost in the shuffle with the transitions that the military goes through quite frequently. Because if you think if you're doing you know, attending a school where you're own, you've PCS for six months, then you're PCS in again and rolling right into a deployment, you could see how it could all go awry there. So what is out there for them at Charles Schwab? Yeah, and I'll kind of go back to what we talked about earlier about the unique lifestyle. And here's one of those things when you talk about a deployment or PCSing and talk about stressful and all the things that they have to do and they need access to information and assistance just like other clients. However, very different because they can't be inconvenienced with the timing and if we're available. So one of the things that I think is great for our deployed members is the fact that we provide 24 seven service pretty much takes all the time zones and business hours out of the equation We're able to provide them flexibility so that they can get that support wherever and whenever they are. And so with that, you know, they can also use our digital tools. Our digital tools provide a ton of access so they can monitor their accounts. They can manage those accounts. One of the tools that we continuously are innovating on and we've been evolving is we have what's called the Schwab Assistant, and that's on our mobile app. And to save time, you know, that individual can use voice or text and it guides them to the functions that they need, whether that's managing their account, getting short videos, education, and then it even connects them with a live representative representative via chat or voice. So I think that's another capability that we have to be able to serve them on demand and help them with the convenience of wherever they are, whatever time it is. I can't speak for anybody else listening, but I'm glad you brought up that app because I mentioned on our last show with Mary how I cheat all the time now. I'm just so lazy. I don't even look things up. I just go straight to the app and I'm like, how to sell money, how to, you know, whatever it is I need. So I like that I still will have that capability to be lazy with Charles Schwab. (laughs) Great. All right. I want to ask this question about resources to learn more about investing because As a financial coach, I get this all the time. That's actually my most asked question about investing is how do I even get started? What do I do? What is all of this? Because to most of us, if we didn't grow up in an environment where we were taught about investing, it is straight up Greek and it can be overwhelming when you look at dashboards and everything. So what can people expect with Charles Schwab so they can learn and improve in their investing literacy? Yeah, we have several resources available. And, you know, I talked about accessibility to more individual investors earlier. And we try to make, just as you mentioned, education and resources available. And we know it can be very daunting. So we have the Schwab Knowledge Center on schwab.com, which is a great resource for anyone really wanting to learn more about investing, taking control of their finances. That's a lot of education and advice there. Something that we have specific to the military community is if you go to schwabmoneywise.com and you go to the My Life tab under the military community, we have resources and topics on basic budgeting or as complex to how to prepare for retirement. And that is really dedicated to the military community. So that's another resource. And of course, you know, just like we're on now, the podcast, right? We have podcasts that people can download and listen when it's convenient for them. And some of those podcast series are all about good decision-making, budgeting, investments, and other topics like that. I like that you brought up podcasts. I know I'm biased, but (laughs) that's that's a great resource for people to use. And 
I have noticed probably because of my relationship with Charles Schwab, but more and more on social media, the content is really there for the military community to start learning, start getting used to Charles Schwab, start being part of that community, which I love that it's showing on social media that we are all being welcome. So I'm biased on that. And I have to say that because I'm sitting here looking at all the questions that I've asked and I feel like I've really grilled Charles Schwab. Like, what are you going to do for us? What, you know, what's in it for us? And I didn't mean it that way now looking at the questions, but that's really, I think what some people are thinking. They just kind of want to know what they're walking into that, that fear of the unknown, I think sometimes stop people from taking action. And so I do feel guilty about asking all those questions, but I, I am happy that we talked about it all. So people, you know, have a clearer picture of what they're, they're going to be welcome. And I also want to say too, about the tools for investing I love that when I logged in, all the resources that I found for my account, I just recently talked to my brother, same thing with him. He was pleasantly surprised when he logged in to his Charles Schwab account. One, both of us way easier to do it than we thought it was going to be. We both thought it was going to be an afternoon project. And then when we got on there, just so user friendly, and especially for me, who's more into investing, a lot more, you know, resources that I can use to do some research and I like to be a dork about it and do deep dives on stuff. And so I feel like that that's available. Mary, do you have any thoughts on resources about investing and for USAA members that have come over to Schwab? Absolutely. I think Danielle gave some great resources. And I know that Schwab has really built a wonderful welcome experience to welcome our members and orient them and introduce them to all that Schwab has to offer them. And then on our side, we also have resources, especially for those who are just getting started. And to your point, trying to figure out which direction to go and how do I start investing and how do I start planning for retirement? Um, we have general advice on many different topics like retirement, like military life, like buying a house at usa.com forward slash advice. And then we've got specific investing information at usa.com forward slash investing. So there's a lot of information there about IRAs, again, retirement, investing basics, uh, which we collaborated very closely with Schwab on as well. So a lot of good resources out there. Yes, and anybody that's just tuning in for this episode, you can check out the previous episode, 103, to hear my whole interview with Mary talking about the transition from USAA to Charles Schwab. But I want to ask you both, how will it look moving forward? You know, being intertwined USA and Charles Schwab, is this a team effort, a united front for USAA members and now customers of Charles Schwab? What does that look like? So I'll kick off first and then I'll let Danielle um, jump in as well. It absolutely is a team effort. I will say we work very closely with Schwab. I have a close partner of mine over at Schwab that I talk with almost daily. We are talking about all the different ways that members engage with us, both on the USA side and on the Schwab side. And we are continuously looking for ways to make it even better, to give members resources that they need, solve more of their needs. And ultimately, as I mentioned in our, our first conversation, we have the same goal, which is we want to help members of the military community and their families get closer and closer to that goal of financial security that, that we all want to be able to achieve. And so however we can work together and, and collaborate to do that, we are absolutely vested in this together. Yeah, I would definitely agree with what Mary said. You know, the partnership is strong. It's going to continue to be strong. We at Schwab are ready to serve the members that come over and we are committed to doing so. As you heard throughout the interview, you know, us, our acumen around the military community, getting our employees up to speed around the military community. But we are so excited to be able to serve those members with just a breadth and depth of capabilities, being able to have them access us 24 seven. I just think it's so powerful and I can't help but talk about just the shared values and putting the client first. It is just so amazing that we have two organizations that that is their number one priority. And so I look forward to the partnership and continuing to work with USAA. Danielle, do you have any last thoughts for anybody that's listening that is new to Charles Schwab coming from USAA that, you know, anything that they should be thinking about? The only thing I would say is, you know, first, welcome. We're so excited to have you. And because there are a lot of capabilities and 
definitely lots of tools and resources. I think the number one thing is onboarding and getting acclimated with Schwab. And you can do that, as I mentioned, in many different ways. If you're a do-it-yourself, go on schwab.com, go on the mobile app to get acclimated. If you need more help or if you want that interaction with the person, call us so that we can help walk you through that. But I just think that we are the perfect company to be able to serve you and that if you need help, please seek us in whatever way serves you the best. I love that. I was going to throw out, and if you're a family member of mine, don't call me. I feel like they've all called me. I'm like, call Charles Schwab, call USA. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a direct line to customer support. So um, just teasing to my family that's listening. <laughs> All right. Now I want to ask you a couple of quick random questions. First one, what is one resource or tool that makes your life work or business easier? Well, work or life business easier. I would say definitely the Schwab mobile app. I'm biased. I'm a Schwabby now. So I love the app. I love the simplicity. I love that you can go on there and self-serve for pretty much anything about your accounts. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to be that way. I haven't used it as much as I should. I'm going to say that right now, but to be continued on the Charles Schwab app. (laughs) All right. What is your favorite book right now or your favorite book of all time? Yes. So my favorite book right now, if you all have not read this, it's The Grit Factor by Shannon Huffman Paulson. And it is about courage, resilience, leadership in the most male dominated organization in the world, which is the military. And she has such amazing insights. And so I would highly encourage um, you to read that book. Wonderful. I'll be sure to put links to that in the show notes for everybody. So if you are on the treadmill, You don't need to jump off right now. Keep running. Keep running. (laughs) All right. Now it's time for my favorite part of the podcast, which is game time. And today we're going to be playing fact or fiction. So I'm going to give you a few statements, actually four to be technical. And you have to tell me if it's a fact or it is fiction. Are you ready for this? I am ready. Okay, first one. Ounce for ounce, kiwis contain more vitamin C than oranges. Fact or fiction? Fact. That is a fact. You're off to a good start. Okay, next one. Scorpions are immune to their own poison. Fact or fiction? Gosh, I think that is a fact. It is fiction. They are not immune to their own poison. Yes. So that is definitely, it turns out everybody's going to be hurt by a scorpion (laughs) to include themselves. Yes. Okay. The next one is snakes can be found on every continent. Fact or fiction? Fiction. That is true. There are no snakes on Antarctica. In case you're ever there, you don't need to worry about snakes. It's cold there. Hopefully they're not snakes there, right? Yes, yes. I do take solace. We live in a heavily wooded area. And when it gets really cold, I'm like, at least I know they don't have to be as careful where I step. (laughs) So, okay, the last one. The rim of a regulation basketball goal is 10 feet above the floor. Fact or fiction? Fact. That is correct. You're good at this. You only missed one. Those scorpions got you. (laughs) They got me. (laughs) So, well, I appreciate you playing game time and coming on the show. Can you tell everybody listening where they can learn more about you and Charles Schwab? Yes, thank you. You can go to schwab.com to learn more. It has a, a lot of information in terms of what we offer from advice, capabilities, solutions. So um, feel free to go out to the site and learn more about what we have to offer because we would absolutely love to serve you. Wonderful. Thank you again. And I'll be sure to put links to all of that in the show notes. Great. Thank you. Thanks to Danielle for coming on the show to share what people can expect with Charles Schwab. I really appreciate the teams from both Charles Schwab and USAA for being willing to sit down and talk about the transition so we could all better understand. Thank you to Charles Schwab for providing support to the Military Money Show. To learn more about Charles Schwab and how they can help you reach your financial goals, visit schwab.com today. And thank you to USAA for supporting this episode. To learn more about USAA and how you can become a member, visit usaa.com. You can head over to LaceyLinkford.com to get all the show notes, links, and resources. 
Next week, I'll be talking to Cece Gallagher about her stressless PCS kit. I appreciate you listening, and I will talk to you next week.